It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope. It's another Code Vein build. And maybe you are another viewer. Hmm? Well, welcome aboard. Well, let's go ahead and get started then. So with this being a another build video, I would still like to make this statement that these builds are more oriented towards people who already have the items in their inventory and just wanted to make a hammer build. Essentially, if you've already reached endgame and you just want to make another build, then this is more towards what I'm trying to make. So, for today's build, we're going to be doing hammers. Yep. Hammers. Going right into the weapons, we use the Argent Wolf Warhammer Fortification Plus 10. Solid damage, but uh, the weapon defense is kind of where it's at, really. It's basically just a Zweihander, but crush damage. All around solid weapon defense and a nice move set. Pretty good scaling. All around good hammer. And the Juggernaut Sledgehammer Fortification Plus 10, which you get at the start of the game, by the way, by just beating the first boss. So even knowing it's a weapon you get from the first boss, its scaling and its damage really pushes its way to being probably the second best hammer in the game. So that's a fun fact. Dusk Guard Fortification Plus 10. Really nice defenses all across the board. A good mind and strength scaling for the blood coat I am using. And it just looks very fashionable. Of course, there's the silver garb it comes with, but I just got the dust garb for color matching, you know? Let me go ahead and just uh, blood veil transparency off. Just for some nice matching, you know? Jumping into the next portions, which are the passives. Improved regeneration because normal regeneration sucks. Stamina stimulant. Strength and dexterity up. Hammer mastery. Fairly basic passives, just for being a heavy build, I suppose. More stamina because our blood code does not have a lot of stamina. Hammer mastery because hammer build. You know, hammer mastery, hammer build. It's kind of mandatory. So this is not going to come as a shock. The blood code is Demeter. Why? Good strength, good mind. All around fantastic for heavy builds. The stamina is low, so running a stamina stimulant is going to counteract that. Of course, there are many other options for heavy builds, but this is just what I like to use. And going down to the gifts down here, restorative offering for restorative offering purposes. Adrenaline, Rich to Glory, and Flashing Fang. As for these gifts, Triple Annihilator, Dogged Fighter, Precision, Steadfast Strike. Just a few small extra notes. Dogged Fighter is what's going to give you some extra stagger resistance, right? And Hammers and Code Vein, if I recall, have good stagger. So what's better than having good stagger? Having great stagger. Put on Precision. Temporarily makes it easier to stagger enemies with your weapon. Combine that with a hammer, and combine that with an ability to resist staggers, basically allowing you to win trades more often. Oftenly enough, you can keep enemies stunlocked with this setup. That's kind of the idea here. So you can't really worry about something hitting you if it's getting stunlocked the entire time. But this mostly applies to just basic enemies, you know? Of course, some bigger bosses can be interrupted or staggered if you hit them enough with this setup. But of course, I wouldn't rely on it to stunlock them to death. It's more just like you can stop them from doing something if you hit them enough. Smaller bosses, like the Attendant of the Relics, though, can be completely stunlocked to death with this setup. And they won't be able to counterattack if you just keep whacking. As for bigger bosses, you can occasionally stagger them or prevent them from doing something if you just keep hitting them with the heavy amounts of stagger you're currently using with the setup. Oh yeah, and Steadfast Strike. Fantastic gift, by the way. You get it from the DLC. Would you like a gift that does crazy amounts of damage and you're not able to be staggered while you use it? Yeah, okay, then this is your gift, by the way. Time for a small damage test. Adrenaline. Bridge to Glory. And Flashing Fang. And using Steadfast Strike. Give it a whack. Yeah. Steadfast Strike is pretty darn good. 
Of course, there's also the Triple Annihilator. It's not exactly the best gift for this, but I just like how it looks, so that's why I'm using it. Of course, you can swap it out for whatever you like that fits your build. Take a last look at the damage here. Where is it? Bridge to Glory and Adrenaline pair together really be beefing up these weapons. Well, that's about it for the build video. I do appreciate you stopping by. I do appreciate your time of day. It would be really cool if you liked the video. It would be even cooler if you maybe subscribed. My name's Sui, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Can we do this again sometime?